St. Lucia has recorded a total of 25 COVID-19 cases to date. 22 of these cases have fully recovered and three patients remain in care at the respiratory hospital and remain stable. A total of 3,548 tests have been conducted to date. Two of the patients have recovered clinically and do not have any signs and symptoms of COVID-19. However, they still record positive COVID-19 test results. The last confirmed case is an 86-year-old gentleman who is recovering well in care. All of the family members, friends, and healthcare workers that have been disclosed to the contact tracing team have been screened and tested, and to date the results have been negative. The health team continues to monitor and investigate for the source of infection. As we continue with the phased reopening of the country, the risk for introduction of COVID-19 is increased. The public is advised that all of the protocols are still in place, including the reduced numbers for public transportation and the protocols for the private sector establishments. These also include the use of face masks in public places and to maintain safe physical distances from, from others. The Ministry of Health we once again reiterate the importance of quarantine for returning nationals and visitors as it is a good measure to minimize the risk of the transmission of COVID-19. And it is with this we ask that everyone adheres to the 14-day quarantine time and also for persons to stay in quarantine for the full period. This action is expected to protect the health and the safety of every individual within our country. We also appeal to everyone to continue to support our national effort to minimize the threat of COVID-19 on our island. We continue to advise, as always, the importance of the standard recommendations for infection prevention and control. Um, these include regular hand washing with soap and water or the use of hand sanitizer when soap and water is not available, and also to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing. The Ministry of Health we will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.